Okay, so I uh, figured I may as well make a video going over the first part of this because I just made a video going over the second part of it and follow up to an article that I made on a different site. So screw it um, to my subscribers. Forget it. in the second part if you do watch it. The second part, forget about the link in the in the underbar. I'm not going to worry about that because this is going to cover the same stuff as I did in the other tutorial. Um, this tutorial is to show you the really basics of editing a texture for Fallout 3 and you know putting it, it like in saving it in the proper format and everything so anyway me personally what I did was and, and I, as, I'm gonna be making another tutorial here tonight that shows how to do exactly what I'm talking about but I extracted resources from the uh, from the BSA file, which is the uh, archive, the special archive file that Fallout 3 uses, using Fallout Mod Manager, and I have uh, saved all the armor textures, which is what I'm going for, into here, so I can access them whenever I want it. Now, I, the the base I started with was uh, metal armor, so right here. Now, it's, note the the file is a lot different here. Um, I already set up my structure, which I will go over more again in the third tutorial. Um, anyway, I copied, since you see that the F precursor uh, pre preface on the name is basically female, it signifies female. I didn't worry about the gloves or the helmets or anything like that. All I did was I copied these two files right here, the diffuse map and the normal map, to here. This file has already been slightly altered, so I'll show you what the original looked like. Um, when you load up a texture in GIMP, you never, ever, ever, ever open MIP maps if you are actually going to do any editing and saving. And the reason is because DDS files don't like to save like that. So this is the original, and this here is my alteration to it. Note the difference. Um, but we're going to forget about this for now and we're going to take this. I'm not going to be saving this after I edit it, but I am going to show you how I go about editing things. So first and foremost, the first thing I do is I scale the image up. Um, make sure you do multiples of two, you know, or four or whatever. Um, so I'm going to go to 4096. Um, note the chain link here makes it so, ah, look at that, automatically scales the other part appropriately. And then you just hit scale. Um, I'm not too worried about this right now because I'm not going to be, even if I were saving it, I wouldn't be saving it at the size of 4096. So you hit scale and then you wait for it to finish scaling up. Which can take a bit, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, it can take a bit, especially if you don't have a if your PC is only mediocre. Okay, now you've got a decent size image to edit. So the tool I'm going to be using here, this is like primary tool for me when doing any texture editing, is the airbrush. So first and foremost, you pick your color. I'm going to say green, just bright, bright fucking green for this. Um, when we go to mode, and then we go to grain merge. Grain merge is important. Now, you also don't want the solid brush and, and with the particular technique I'm going to be using in this tutorial. You want this brush right here. It's a fuzzy circle. So note that since we resize the image, the fuzzy circle is really tiny, even though it's the largest one. So you want to scale it up. Um, that, that should work. So then what you do is you just do that and you just paint over it. Now the more you go over an area the brighter it'll be obviously um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm mainly the, the grain merge makes it so you don't lose too much detail as long as you don't go over it like a billion times. I lost a little detail here. Um, I can just undo things a little. So we'll go like that and da -da -da. Um, I'm only going to be changing a few parts and then I'm going to be pretty much done, but so 
don't worry about painting into the black because most of the black is not used if there's not some sort of definition in the black area don't worry about it um, mainly because it's just empty space on the texture file and it doesn't get actually seen in game usually maybe around a scene you know or something like that um, so basically I I'm pretty much done with what I'm going to be doing for this because I don't want to go through editing an entire texture because I'll, I'll, I spent I'll spend hours editing a single texture when I do it um, so anyway so now the, the metal armor would have gr bright green spots um, on basically it looks like somebody took a almost a green highlighter and just kind of sharpied onto it um, but then what you would do is you go to image, scale image. Now if you want a good quality image, then you go to 2048. But I'm just going to bring it back down to 1024, which was the original, and hit scale. And there we go. And then you just file, uh, I'm going to save as so you don't do something stupid and accidentally overwrite something you worked on for a long time if you spend more time doing it so yeah I've done that um, now when you save the compression you want is BC3 DXT5 and you want generate mitmaps on and then you hit OK and then you're pretty much done and all you want to do after that oops I close out give entirely it's not what I meant to do then after you do that, you want to open up your file again, just to make sure everything came out right. And this time, since you're just looking, go ahead and load the mitmaps to make sure that they showed up right. And there's all the mitmaps. Mitmaps are basically what you see, lower quality versions of the same texture that you would see at a distance in the game. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. Um, I will link to my original article tutorial I wrote just kind of as a supplemental thing because I'm pretty certain that if I remember right there are some things that I mentioned in there that I did not mention here um, anyway uh, this is in Sephiroth or Mr. Tier 3 whichever you prefer on Nexus and on YouTube you know appropriately anyway you guys take it easy